Look what I got. And I'm SRD for V2. Mm. It is now in this color changing rainbow thing mode. These are all the AUX LED colors you can choose. I can't get bored with it. Press and hold seven times to change the color in normal mode. You can select steady colors and after white, right now, this and this are the extra modes, which means one is the color changing mode, the rainbow mode, or, or I don't know what's, what's the exact name of this. And the last one is a battery monitor mode, which is blue when the battery is full and in lower levels it turns green and then when the battery is almost depleted, it is uh, red. You can change the AUX LED brightness or blinkiness or turn off with seven clicks. Now it's in uh, the blinky mode. As you can see, it it blinks a few times in low mode. Uh, it may focus. Come on. Okay. As you can see, it uh, blinks low, high mode uh, levels. Alternatively, an alternating sequence. Low low high, low and low high. And you can turn off if you want. This is the low level. And this is the high level. Now I am changing the color. And this is the rainbow mode. And it is interesting how this acts as a blinky. Uh, otherwise, uh, and uh, I lock it out, so this is in lockout mode. Yes, it has the momentary moon. And you can also select with triple click or triple click and hold. Triple click, you change the, the level of the AUX LEDs or how it behaves. Now I turned it off and uh, do click and hold the third one. You can select the color. Sorry for the focus, I don't know why it's doing that. So
like this. You can change the color. And the rest of the firmware is stock and real and nothing new. You can choose stainless steel bezel. The button is a little bit more recessed than the old one. And here is the old one. I tried to fit the new bezel, but uh, no, it is uh, locked itself after a few threads and the glass is rattling. So uh, if someone wants uh, uh, to buy a stainless bezel to uh, an old version, MSR D4, uh, don't buy it because it won't fit. Uh, the threads have some difference. So, let's see the tubes. I think the, the tube threads are got a bit thinner. So you can see the threads are a little bit thinner in the new one. So I think the magnetic tear cap also won't fit, but let's try. Oh, and it fits. So if you want to buy a magnetic tear cap, you can, but the stainless bezel is not working. And if someone wants to keep up to date the firmware on this flashlight with a pogo pin programming key you can flash new version of Unreal so these pads you don't need to remove driver you just buy a programming key and uh, follow the instructions on budget light forum how to flash different flashlights firmers and you can do it with a PC. And as you can see, the tear cap is a bit longer with a few millimeters. That's because it has a magnet inside if you pick that option. This Lanyard hole is nicely chamfered down so it doesn't cut your lanyard, even the hole inside. So, this has a few improvements over the old model. I really like this. I don't see any drawbacks from the other model and also the old model has a a bit um, dumb or, or reduced and real version the d4 firmware this has fully capable and real it has all the functions all the blinkies all the setup thing And you can choose a nice pocket clip for it. Many LED options and some color options on the body. Accessible.
these are the lights which I will compare with the MSR D4 V2 the BLF A6 XPL LED 1500 lumen Ace Beam H15 2500 lumens and the Convoy M3 which is 3500 lumens and this is 4260 lumens with this LG HG2 battery so here is the MSR D4 version 2 and first the BLF A6 and the MSR this MSR has XPL HI 5000 Kelvin LEDs the next one is the HB H15 The MSR. And last but not least, the Convoy M3. Thank you for watching.